Yes. That is sweet. So I was reading that the people who live here consider this town uh, some sort of a ghost town. Now, 124 people live here now, so to me, that's not really a ghost town. However, when you talk about ghost towns, there's different variations of ghost towns. And, and, and I guess technically this is a ghost, an image of what it once was back in its booming day. So we're going to walk through town. We're going to check things out. We're going to show you what is left of Manhattan, Nevada. consider this a ghost town? Yeah, I would. Uh, you know, considering that 4,000 people lived here one time and now you're just down to basically maybe 100 or so. Uh, and it's just a shell of what it used to be. Uh, so yes, I would definitely call this a ghost town. So it's on my ghost town. Listen, it's worth a visit. in its heyday in like 1905 and I believe this bank here uh, of Manhattan was erected in 1906. Uh, there's actually a bolt over here. Let's go check this out. Okay. I think maybe go around the corner here. Maybe a safe. I think I remember the safe. Here we go. Yeah. Here's the safe. Come on, check this out. So this is a vault from the bank. If you just think about the money that was uh, made back in those, like 1905, uh, mostly from gold. Um, and this town was flourishing. About 4,000 people had lived here at one point when this town was booming. But check out the scene. <laughs> yes, that is sweet. Uh, Adam, come over with the camera. Maybe you can get a better, better view. Let me see if I can check that out. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that right there. What that says there. Okay. Interview County Bank. The Nye and Ormsby County Bank. Good look at that. Well, there's no money left in that safe, that is for sure. Okay. All right. So, Anna, I did tell you I was going to take you to Manhattan. What do you think so far? Okay. Or had in mind. Okay. Well, hey, come on. This is great. This is better than actual Manhattan. You're not going to get mugged here. So just to give you a little bit more history of this town, if you remember uh, a few months back, I shot a video in Rhyolite, and their bank kind of went belly up because of the earthquake in 1906 in San Francisco, which created a big uh, financial crisis. This town actually fell victim to the same exact earthquake. So, And it really isn't that far from where we were there. So it, it would make sense that the, that, that town like this town, would fall upon that, uh, the financial crisis. There just was no money to do, to keep the mining going. So the town went from 4,000 down, you know, over the years and dwindled, dwindled, dwindled. And they actually had uh, picked mining back up a couple times. And uh, But right now, I think they do some gold mining here, but on a smaller scale. And I was coming through town and I saw population 28, but that was an old sign. And I know they're up to population of 124, based on what I read. Uh, that um, So it tells me that they actually have a, have a few more people that are moved into town. I tell you, it's very peaceful here. They're actually, it's uh, this town's uh, in about central Nevada in the big, what they call it the Big Smoky uh, Valley. And, uh, 
I love it here. It's so peaceful. So there's a few more things I want to check out. I and mean, we'll take some pictures, but I think there's an old church here. We want to go check that out. And so stick around for the ride. We're going to go check that out right now. Day Manhattan, uh, like I said, they have about 124 people that live here, give or take a few. They've got two two bars, a saloon, and one and one hotel. So if you decide to do come here, they do have some accommodations. Uh, we're here; it's it's early on a Sunday. There's not really much going on, except for we're going to head up to the church, and uh, I'll give you a look at that in a second. Uh, but here, like this is Manhattan. Check it out in all its glory. Look at that. So. They say the winters get pretty brutal here, get really cold and the summers are hot, you know, being in central Nevada. So if you decided that maybe you want to move here, just take that into consideration. So, all right, let's head to the church. So the old church is way up that hill. And uh, I wonder how many people on a Sunday afternoon or Sunday morning were able to walk up there. We're going to do it. So let's go. It's a heck of a trek already. So we're getting closer. After that big trek up the hill, I certainly hope so. Yeah, let's go. I thought there was a rock right there. A little bird. He trapped himself in there. No, I have an open window. Oh yeah, there's one in there. So, well, it's Sunday, and I'm I'm heading to church. Just think about 100 years ago how the people would come here on a Sunday morning and worship in this church. Now, obviously, it's empty. You know, probably nobody comes up here anymore. Like I said, it's just at the top of the hill. It's a long trek to get up here, so it's just kind of part of history of Manhattan. Manhattan, Nevada. I'm liking it. So now that we've gone to church, now let's see if we can get a beer. See if the bar is open. Let's head that way. So what do you think this thing was? I don't know. It was maybe sometime. It may have been like a, a gas station or some sort of shop. I mean, because it looks like you might have had a garage over here somewhere. There's some old rundown vehicles. Some engines right here. Yeah, because you can see here. There's some old equipment here. That used to be a vehicle of some sort. I can see the radiator and the engine block right there. You can see the old Coca-Cola sign. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, this probably was a gas station. That's cool. I love it here. It's great. So, you know, if you're into ghost towns, you're into ghost town hunting, you know, I recommend you get a map and do a little bit of research before you go to places. Uh, and uh, it's worth the while. It's, it's amazing. But you know what? That's why the channel exists, so we can come to places like this and, and show you this. So you might have had the opportunity to get out, get out here on your own. So, uh. All right, so if you wind up staying here at the Manhattan Motel, here are your amenities, man. You got some horseshoes, you're walking distance from the bar. Check out this, man. Check out this rustic stuff. It's amazing. That is the authentic Western kind of vibe. I love it. All right, so if you're looking to get a beer here in Manhattan, they sell hams. I mean, who has hams beer? Maybe the sign's just old and they, they don't have it, but I would love to know if they have it. Unfortunately, the bar is closed. I mean, maybe because it's still sunny. It's almost noon. It should be open, but they're not. But uh, make it to Manhattan. Check out this place. But anyway, that's all we have today uh, on Beers and Frontiers. We've shown you the town. We've shown you some rustic uh, structures. And uh, 
Hope you enjoyed your stay with us. If you liked the video, hit the button below. But that's all we have for now. Cheers from Beers and